This building is the first historic redevelopment in the country to be awarded LEED Gold. It's easier for newer buildings to meet the code because newer buildings tend to be more energy efficient. And so th this is the first historic redevelopment in the nation back in 2001 that met those stringent standards. This is the eco roof on top of the second floor of the building. Eco roof was planted at the same time of the building's redevelopment. The eco roof together with the bioswales down below keep approximately, we estimate, 95 to 100% of the stormwater that falls on this building site on the site. And so that's very important because the Willamette River has trouble with managing the stormwater flows. And so for good water management, it's important that the water stay on site. Ecotrust added skylights throughout, throughout the building so that this atrium is filled with natural light. These are all the original floorboards of the building. These are, these are great. The wood that was added in the redevelopment of the building is largely FSC certified. Some of the additions came from the deconstruction of an annex of the building that was on the site. And you can see there's still the remnant wall of that annex. This flooring here is recycled car tires, and it's very comfortable to walk on because it's very springy. Here's an example of interface, interface carpeting, which is famous for its reused materials and tiled carpeting. When one part wears out, the entire carpet need not be replaced. The CEO of Interface has become a strong spokesperson for, for cradle-to-cradle -cradle design, the notion that a product as service. He doesn't sell you just a product, he sells you the service. The service that you need is carpet in your house. You don't necessarily need to own it. And so each tile of the carpet, when it wears out, can be lifted separately and then replaced rather than replacing the whole thing. The success of the building is its mix, its diversity. Nonprofits include Ecotrust itself, Ecotrust is also the owner of the building, the Wild Salmon Center, and then there's also retail tenants as well, Patagonia over, over here, as well as Hot Lips Pizza, mix of local and organic ingredients, as well as World Cup coffee. Would you call it an environmental mall? Um, we don't usually call it a mall. <laughs> Before the redevelopment of this building, Ecotrust advisor Stuart Brand, Stuart Brand of course from the Whole Earth, Whole Earth catalog. Stuart at that time had just written a book called How Buildings Learn. And one of the questions that he challenged Ecotrust with is, do you want to have a building that's more like a showcase or a building that's more like a laboratory? The feeling was we really want a building that's more like a laboratory. 